Hi, and welcome to another Radan Video Tech Tip. In this tip, we'll look at a new tooling feature called Bridge Cutting available in the Radan 2012 R1 release. This entirely new tooling feature now available in Radan, called Bridge Cutting, is the option of linking external profiles together between multiple parts. The benefit of bridge cutting is that it can reduce the number of pierces across the sheet, which can speed the overall cutting time and possibly save some material as well. A few restrictions with this initial release are that the bridge cut tooling can only be added manually and only to existing auto tooled parts. However, by taking this approach, the tooling feature will retain the first lead in and all others will be automatically removed as they're no longer needed with the bridge tool arrangement. It should also be noted that bridges cannot be added at corners, only mid-edge, but they can be deleted. However, the auto-removed lead-ins will not be brought back automatically, and internal profiles must be cut before bridge profiles are cut, which should usually be required anyway. So let's see this feature in action. I'll auto tool the nest and notice as I zoom in on a couple of the parts that there are lead ins on each external profile. The new bridge cut command is an option of the profile tags command. With this option icon to launch the new command I'll add a bridge cut between two parts. A bridge cut is really two cuts between two parts external profiles. So the gap setting defines the distance between the two cuts. With this gap distance we have essentially built a tag between the parts. To avoid generating this tag like feature the gap setting can be set to a very small or even negative value to force an overlap of the two cuts. Notice with the bridge in place the lead-in on the upper parts external profile is gone. Notice the next parts external lead-in is removed as well. This new feature won't allow the creation of islands so if I try to select the first part again the bridge is not created because that would leave an island of material floating between some of these parts. I'll finish adding bridge cuts to the other parts. Now let's auto order the cutting sequence, then compile the program and review it in verification mode. Notice the internal features are automatically cut first, leaving the external profiles and bridges for last in the sequence and essentially cutting all the external profile paths from a single pierce. Since this feature currently requires that all internal profiles of a bridge cut group cut all internals of that group first, we suggest when first utilizing this new feature you may want to restrict the bridge cut groups to a few parts versus the entire nest so as to reduce or eliminate any issues with material expansion from heat buildup. Now bridges can be deleted with the tooling delete command option for bridge tool features. Once removed, Radan automatically redefines the linear slots along the two adjacent parts. However, currently the automatically removed lead-ins are not added back automatically with this initial release of the bridge cutting feature. Also, use of subroutines in order mode is not supported with bridge cutting. 
So the benefits are that the PAR profile should cut faster and the number of pierces is reduced for the external profiles, which can be a significant advantage for thicker materials. This feature can also result in saving material and automatically prevents the radian user from accidentally creating floating islands of skeleton material. Thanks for viewing this Radian Video Tech Tip and stay tuned for more tips from the Radian Resource Newsletter.